Well, it is all about show choir in Broadhead tonight, but several parents fear the music there will soon stop. The district is in a budget crisis. News 3's Brad Jameson has more on why today's event may open some eyes. Brad? Well, if the school district cannot afford, uh, if they can't afford it, activities like sports and music may have to be cut. But for now, a show choir competition is putting the school district's sense of community on center stage. Saturday, Broadhead High School is in the spotlight for music, not its budget woes. It's an introduction for Broadhead Middle Schools and the high school's JV choir group, followed by competition from 18 teams from three states. It's like a sport. Um, there are judging sheets, we hire judges, all the judges fill it out. One of those judges is Jacob Condon, Broadhead High School class of 2008. He now studies dance at UW-Milwaukee, but got his start in show choir. I don't even know if I'd be going for dance, but yeah, I, this was kind of my jump start to that. Like this established for me what I wanted to do, what I was going to do. This, this established my dream. 1,100 students are competing, comparable to a third of the city's population. In its 12th year, the show has become a community event. As you come through town, the different businesses have welcome show choir on their signs, um, just promoting the whole event. The school board will not be cutting co-curricular activities next year, but beyond that, everything, including show choir, could be in question. An April referendum would help maintain programs if passed, but the school board says a permanent fix must come from Madison. The public is, is going to say, when is enough enough? And so hopefully, People start writing their legislative body and communicating with them that there has to be a change at the way the schools are funded. For now, the competition will continue, and many here hope it continues for a long, long time. This school would definitely not be the same. I don't know. The creativity would just be gone, and creativity for me is essential in one's development with education. The school board faced a little bit of criticism after the first referendum earlier this month failed by people saying they couldn't find enough information to make a decision on the vote. They're trying to fix that. They put up a detailed, or they put up in great detail what this referendum in April will be asking for on the school district's website. Still, school board members say there may have to be some layoffs. All right, News 3's Brad Chamson live in Janesville. Brad, thank you.